Hi, welcome back. I'm Piyush. We're going to talk of normal distributions in our series, Probability Distributions Made Easy. Uh, stay with me for around uh, 13 minutes and uh, we'll have a very good understanding of how to solve normal distribution numericals. Whenever you see normal distribution, you would probably see this curve. It's a very easy curve to understand. The x-axis of the curve tells us the values for which we are trying to find the probability. So let's say we are trying to find the probability of number of um, biscuits demanded by shoppers from a store on any particular day. The values, so say 100 biscuits, 200 biscuits, 300 biscuits, 400 biscuits, the values would be represented on the x-axis. Now this could be the number of people in a train. Again, the number would be here. Uh, this could be the thickness of a particular widget which has been manufactured in a factory. This could be the time taken to receive a call by a customer service. So all those values are represented on the x-axis. The y-axis represents the probability. So let's suppose um, on an average shoppers demand um, let's say 322 widgets. They need 322 widgets uh, on a part any particular uh, day so this value of the center mu is say 322 this is a random number in that case the length of this line starting here to the bottom of the x-axis the length of this line tells us the probability that the shoppers would demand 322 uh, widgets on any given day now suppose you want to find the probability that the shoppers want 340 widgets so all we do locate 340 probably somewhere here drop a line from the curve to 340 this length of this line is the probability that the shoppers would want 340 widgets on any given day. Let's suppose we are talking of 300 and, um, 305, so probably somewhere here. So drop a line, the length of this line is the probability that shoppers would want 305. In most cases, we do not use normal distribution to find point probabilities. We don't use normal distribution to find what is the probability that you had 305 units demanded. We use normal distribution for things like what is the probability that less than 305 units were demanded by shoppers on a particular day or what is the probability that between 322 to 340 units were demanded by shoppers on any particular day. So in normal distribution in most cases we find interval probabilities not point probabilities. We can use tables, we can use Excel. So since you're going to use Excel, we'll solve a series of five numericals to understand how to actually make this work. This is the basic numerical we are talking about. A city, the individual income, the income of individual in the city is normally distributed. The mean is 6400, standard deviation is 800. So this is the first problem. What is the probability that the income of an individual is less than rupees 6000 or dollar 6000, whatever suits you. All right. So the mean, the first thing to do is to draw this curve. The mean is 6400. So let me write here 6400. I want the value to be less than 6000, which is probably somewhere on this side. So I 6000 um, to negative infinity, less than this side goes up to then. So I want this curve on this, sorry, I want this area. Uh, Excel by default gives the answer from negative infinity. So we can use Excel directly in this case to find the probability of from negative infinity to 6000. The formula is very simple in Excel. Uh, so I want probability that the value is less than 6000. Uh, all I have to do is say equal to norm dist. I'll explain the formula again and we are doing more sums. So don't worry. 6000 which is the value less than 6000 mean is 6400. Uh, standard deviation is 800 and I want a cumulative value. I want total from negative infinity to 6000. So I say yes or true and uh, bracket closed. So the answer is 0 0.308 or 0 0.31. This is the formula we used. Norm dist. First thing is the value for which we want less than. In our case it was 6000. The mean 6400. Standard deviation which is 8000 and true because I want a cumulative value. So let me take this and write it in our um, sheet. Um, so the value I want in this case is, let me remove this line, is uh, less than probability that the value is less than 6000 is uh, 0 
0.31. Let's look at one more problem. We are looking at 5. We have just solved 1. So let's look at one more problem. What is the probability that the value in this case is less than 8000? Remember, all less thans Excel gives directly. So we will follow our method. The mean is 6400. So I write the mean value here. I want less than 8000. 8000 is probably somewhere here. So I mark this 8000 and I want this area probability that is less than 8000 right the shaded region. So I find the area which will give me the probability. Let's go to Excel mm, probability of less than 8000 which is equal to norm dist mm, x 8000 mean is 6400 standard deviation is 800 and true because it's cumulative value and i get 0.977 or i'll call it 0 0.98 mm, so the probability that the value that we have is uh, less than 8000 probability of value being less than 8000 is approximately 0 0.98 let's look at one more problem so this problem will help us understand um, the distribution better. Um, the problem is slightly different. Now it says, till now we have been talking about less than, this problem is about more than. What is the probability that the income of an individual in the city is more than 4,800? A standard policy, 6,400 is my mean. I write it. 4,800 probably be here. So I make this curve, this is 4800 and in this case we want more than 4800 which is this area. Now let like me know Excel by default gives us value from negative infinity and this time we want more so 4800 to positive infinity. Well we again know that the, su the sum of all probabilities is 1, has to be 1. So the total area under the curve is 1. So what we do is we find the area of less than 4800, this part, uh, subtract that from 1 to get this part which is more than 4800 because the total has to be 1. So let's jump into Excel and understand how this is done. So first I'll find the probability of less than 4800 because Excel gives this directly equal to norm dist 4800 mean standard deviation and true bracket closed enter 0 0.022 and I want probability of more than 4800 which is equal to 1 minus this number because the sum of all probabilities is 1 which is 0 0.977 or 0 0.98 so let me put that here in our case the value of probability that it is greater than 4800 is 0.98. Now look at this. This Z probability is exactly same as this probability here. That's interesting because the normal distribution is highly symmetrical. Let's look at these two numbers. 8000 minus 6400 which is about 1600 and in this case I have 6400 minus 4800 which is also 1600. So what happens since this distance is the same as this distance the probabilities are bound to be the same. So, so half this probability from mu to positive infinity or from negative infinity to the mean will have to be 0 0.5 the mean so it's half on this side this area is same as this area so the values have to be same. It's a perfectly symmetrical curve. Let's look at one more problem which will help us um, to make a better sense after this. Mm. The problem is again very similar but a slight difference. The problem talks about what is the probability that the income uh, is between these two values, right? So what is the probability of an income between 5700 and 7000? So the mean is in this in my case is 6400. I want between 5700 which is somewhere probably here and 7000 which is probably somewhere here. It's not important to be to scale. So I want this probability which is what the problem is asking us. 
So all I do is I first find probability from negative infinity to 7000. Then I find from negative infinity to 5700. Subtract both of them to get the shaded region. So let's go to Excel. So probability of less than 7000, simple, which is equal to, we should know this now, norm dist 7000 comma mean comma standard deviation comma true enter probability of less than 5700 that's what I need so is equal to norm this the formula should be learnt I think by now we have used it often mean is 6400 800 uh, and true bracket closed enter and probability that the value will be between 7000 and or sorry 5700 and 7000 will be equal to this the first value subtract the second value from it I'm sorry equal to the first value minus second value which gives me 0 0.58 so the probability in this case comes to be um, 0 0.58 so what we did we found the probability from less than 7000 less than 5700 subtracted this to get between 5700 to 7000 the next problem the last problem in the series is a very different problem now in this problem that we have here we have a reverse issue happening what is the probability that uh, um, it's given that the person has to be richer than 90 percent of the people in the city so we know the mean is 6400 and he has to be richer than 90 percent so from here to here is 50 percent um, 40 percent here so probably here i know the value of the shaded region which is in our case 90 percent okay so this value is 90 percent and what is the value here that's what i have to find out very simple we use the inverse formula so I say in our case, um, for probability value, if value is 90%, um, that's what is given to us. The probability associated is norm inverse, 90%, so 0 0.90. See, uh, mean is um, 6400, standard deviation is 800, bracket closed, enter. So if the person's income is 7425.24, be probably richer than 90% of the people in the city. We use this formula norm inverse, the probability, again probability from negative infinity, the mean and standard deviation. 0, uh, 7425.24. So this value is 7425.24. If this is the income of a person, the person will be richer than 90% of the people um, in the city. Well, it's as simple as this. So I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, please um, thank you for watching, like it, comment on it, tell me what you liked, what you did not like, share it with your friends and please feel free to communicate with me. Thank you uh, again for watching.